everybody. This is Glenn from AppVersity.com where we touch and tell. Today we're going to be taking a look at Madden NFL 2011 for the iPhone and iPad editions. Uh, for this review, I'm going to be focusing on the differences between the iPhone and the iPad editions, as well as showing you some exhibition gameplay from both. The first thing that I want to call to your attention, and I'm going to quit this here, get back to the main menu, is the rosters feature. It is available for both uh, free updates for the iPad and the iPhone editions. However, there is one caveat. Uh, when you go in to update your rosters, now I'm going to I'm going to block this out for a second because I don't have my iTunes username and password information cached in, and I uh, don't want you to see it. Uh, it. You can hit cancel, and it will still bring you to the updates. Basically, you click on it, say free, it will download the item. Once it's complete, you can hit exit, and you will notice on both systems you will get this message that all custom rosters have been updated, but your saved season play now games have not been changed. Start a new season play now games to see the new rosters. This means if you're six or seven weeks into a season and you go to update the rosters, they're not going to be updated uh, for that current season. You're going to have to start a new season for those changes to be in effect. All right, uh, let's look at the options that we have real quick. Uh, we do have the under gameplay, and this is the iPhone. We have three, five, or seven minutes, D-pad left or right. Enable uh, game flow, enable yes or no, and difficulty, rookie, pro, and all Madden. For those who are not familiar with what game flow is, it's basically the offensive and defensive coordinators calling the plays. This uh, Madden, the Madden series has added this to try to keep the more casual gamer into the game and not focusing as much on plays. Makes it a little more um, arcade or easier for newcomers to the series. But a lot of the hardcore people are going to want to dig right in there and call their own plays on every play. This just helps them out. So you can enable and disable that here or in the game. It will actually uh, pick a play for you, and you can override that as the uh, coach and choose the offensive or defensive play. One of the things you can do is there is the ability to play music during the games. However, I would advise against that because you do not hear any whistles, any sound effects, any of the hikes, uh, hiking commands. Uh, you basically, all you will hear is the music. Um, you can pick your favorite team. I've already selected mine, the Miami Dolphins. Uh, and what we will do here now is we'll go ahead and take a look at the game modes. We have Exhibition, Season, Playoffs, and Multiplayer. Multiplayer is Bluetooth local only. There is no ability to play online or to play against iPad versus iPhone uh, currently. So let's go into now a Exhibition game. I'm going to create a new one because I already had one continuing. And you'll see. We have the Jets versus the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I can choose my conditions, fair, rain, day or night. I can choose if I'm home or away, and I can also choose my uniforms. Uh, I can do home, home alternate, uh, away or away alternate, and I'm going to select uh, the away jersey. And I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Now if you wanted to change your teams, you could just hit here and it will change up and down who you would like to play. Now I'm going to bypass this intro just to save us some time so I can get to show you both versions. What I'm going to try to do is one series of offense uh, and one series of defense on the iPhone as well as the iPad editions. Hopefully I can get fit this all into one video. If not, uh, I may have to make this two, two videos. But here we have the coin toss. It's tails. I get to choose. I'm going to pick uh, offense. I'm going to receive the ball. Defense gets to pick to defend. Now you notice we have the ability right here to do um, audibles, excuse me, audibles right there. That's Devon Bess. Going back to catch it. Use the D-pad. I can run. Now you notice there's a couple of icons here. If I hit the clock, it slows time. Oh, I got sacked before I could do it. Here's a cover flow. Basically, the offensive coordinator says we're going to do a pass, a slant, a slant pass. That's what they're calling. They think that this is the best uh, play for this situation. Now, you have the camera here. You can click this, and it will show you the field. Now, on the console version of Madden, you can use your stick and move left and right to see those players. I can't do that on this. So, to me, this is basically irrelevant. There's no need to have that. What I end up doing is using the hot route feature. Hot route feature gives me an overhead view, but I can see my actual players. I can know where Brandon Marshall is or Devon Bess or Ronnie Brown. Uh, so I can also sit here and say, you know what, I want Brandon Marshall to go across or I want Brandon Marshall to come over here and do a curl route, whatever I want to do. If I like that play, I can hit save and it will save it. Um, if I want to reset it, I can press reset, it goes back. 
So I'm going to, I use this because I want to look at the numbers. So I know 19, 23, and 15, and 80. Those are my numbers. The reason I, I say that is you'll see on the iPad edition what, what improvement that is. If I hike the ball, I pull back. Now I can watch, now I can hit the clock. I slow everything down. I can see, oh, that's that. When you slow down the clock, you'll be able to see the players as they go out in the field. And their, chain, their, their squares around them will change. You can be uh, red, which means you're, you're covered. Uh, and if you throw the ball, you're likely to definitely not make it or be picked off. Yellow means you have an opportunity to make it, uh, but uh, the likelihood is not there. And green, which means he's currently open, which means you'll probably complete that pass. So now uh, let's see what, what play he's selected. We're going to do, uh, it looks like we're going to pitch out to the right, so I'm going to hike it. Ronnie's going to run. I'm going to slow it down and do a juke. Oh, I spun out of it. I was able to keep going. Now, I'm going to stop here. I didn't want to get a first down. I can go to the playbook if I want to call this myself. I can say we're at third and seven. One of the problems I have with the iPhone edition uh, that you should be aware of, <coughs> excuse me, is I can pick the plays here, short pass, but let's say there's a couple more over there. See, I can only see two, so I'm going to scroll over. Now, you see how it just, it just randomly keeps going? Now, if I wanted to stop and go back, see, I'm fighting. I'm fighting with the interface. I, I don't like that. So uh, I'm going to pick a run play here. Um, and I'm going to do a pitch right. Hopefully they can update that with a, an update. Uh, the iPad edition has a, a different interface, so it actually plays a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to hike the ball. And what I'm going to do here, you can see I'm going to run to the right again. So I'm going to hike the ball, and I'm going to get sacked. There you go. Or I'm going to get hit. All right, so I'm fourth and 13th. All right, so I'm going to let, we're going to do a zone protect, and I'm going to kick the ball just so I can show you offensive and defensive for both teams. Graphics look very crisp on the iPhone. Uh, the sound quality is excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't have the depth of a console game, but it, it, it absolutely is the best Madden that we have on the, uh, the iPhone and iTouch. And then for a portable uh, game, it's better than any of the DS versions, and it close, it's very close to anything on the PSP. The only difference the PSP has is you have an analog nub. Uh, but we're, we've come to be used to that with the iPhone and the iPads. All right, so I can move left, right, up, down, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it back and then fast, go as fast up as I can to get the power. Now I can switch players, so I can be the closest one to the ball. And let's see if we can get him here. All right, uh, defensive coordinator has called a sweet blitz. Now here on defense, it's very much the same as the offense. I can do audibles. I can also do hot routes. I can select, and I can say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have you come over here. I'm going to have you go there, and I'm going to have you go there. Uh, you can't save those, though. You notice there is no save option on the defense. Um, so that is an offensive only play. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to heck the ball. We're going to do an inside blitz, it says. Now, if I wanted to, boom, I can go there and override the coach. Oh, and I can pick, uh, let's see, let's just do a zone blitz. One of the other things is I can just touch on any of the players. If I want to be, you know, Cameron Wake, I'm going to bring him over here. And I'm just going to bring him rushing him in. So basically, that's uh, Madden for the iPhone. Uh, that you see all the features that are here. The graphics, like I said, look great. It's a great game on the I iPhone. Uh, if you have a choice between the iPhone and the iPad edition, uh, you know um, you're going to give up some portability by getting it on the iPad. However, the graphics are a little bit more improved. It's a little more console-like. Uh, but we're going to go into that and show you in a minute. So let me uh, let me exit out of this.